the news. Tomorrow's headlines today. Good afternoon, Klamath Basin. It's Wednesday, May 9th, 2018. I'm Kurt Lipke with the Herald and News. Here's a rundown of some of the stories you can find in tomorrow's edition of the Herald and News. These are tomorrow's headlines today. The Department of the Interior last week distributed a one-page document that outlines the framework for a long-term agreement proposal on water issues in the Klamath Basin. Alan Mickelson, Senior Advisor to Secretary of the Interior Ryan Zinke, spent Monday and Tuesday meeting with Basin stockholders such as KWA and Klamath Tribes, which he hopes will set the stage for a framework to a long-term agreement. Mickelson didn't provide a timeline, but said he hopes an agreement is built off of solutions from those living in the basin. Students at Mills Elementary started their day with some fresh air and sunshine Wednesday morning as part of a walking school bus program. Parents and buses dropped students off in three key areas near the school for the sake of getting a little more exercise before starting their day. Local police and fire crews, Oregon Tech's baseball team, Miss Klamath County, and Klamath Falls Mayor Carol Westfall all attended to walk with and greet the students upon their arrival. The program was created by current Oregon Tech student Kayla Brandell as part of her senior project in connection with Blue Zones Project. A Klamath Falls man arrested in 2016 for a fatal stabbing has been scheduled for a bench trial next week where he is likely to offer a defense of mental incapacity. Paul Christian Wirtz, 33, is scheduled for a trial next Tuesday on charges of murder and unlawful use of a weapon for the death of Jesse Richard Tony. Wirtz is scheduled for a stipulated facts trial, meaning he will not challenge the state's evidence, but will allow the judge to determine if the evidence supports guilt. Saturday marks the 19th annual World Migratory Bird Day, a day-long festival in celebration of feathered friends with plenty of family-friendly activities at Veterans Memorial Park. The event is intended to be educational and fun, intended to educate and inspire others to appreciate the importance of the Klamath Basin's varied bird species and the need for habitat conservation. Activities include building birdhouses, painting, identifying bird calls, and even a community fun run. Events start at 10 a.m. and continue until 3. And those are just a few of the stories you can find detailed in the Thursday, May 9th Herald and News. Be sure to follow us online via Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, SoundCloud, and of course, heraldandnews.com. You can also subscribe to podcasts on SoundCloud, iTunes, and Google Play. Be sure to check back each day for the latest podcasts, videos, and breaking news impacting the Klamath Basin, and thanks for listening. 